What up, what up? Ricky Clark here, back again with another video. If you can't tell by the background, tonight we're going to go through my vintage Phillies PC. We're going to start with the least vintage, I guess, to the most vintage. So with that said, let us begin. Got a 1978 Larry Boa. 1978 Jim Cat, 1976 Steve Carlton with a lot of surface damage, but still a nice card. I love the uh, little guy for all the different positions on this set. Got a 1975 Mike Schmidt, 1974 Bob Boone and those sweet powder blue uniforms. A autographed 1973 Larry Boa. Picked this up at a flea market for like three dollars. Can't beat that. 1971 Jim Bunning. This is a high number. It's a 574. Another 71 Tim McCarver. Again in those sweet powder blue uniforms. 1970 Jim Bunning. Then we're going to go all the way back to 1960. We got Dave Philly, who has probably the best name for any Phillies player ever. I mean, can't beat that. We got Jim Owens. I love this set, by the way. Um, I like the, the different color variations that they use. Um, I like the extra photo next to the headshot of the guy. It's a pretty cool set. Got a uh, Wally Post. Sorry, I don't want to do that. I get too much uh, glare on you guys. A 1959 Frank Herrera. It's a Rookie Stars card. It's a pretty cool card. 1956 Herman Waymeyer. A 1956 Richie Ashburn. Uh, the corners, if you can't tell, are uh, round, but you know, it's still a Richie Ashburn card. I got it at a good price, and I've wanted this card like my whole life, so nice to finally have it. A 1955. Autograph Del Ennis. Uh, Del Ennis is a uh, local guy. He's from Philly, so I'm um, big fan of him. My dad's a huge fan of his. We got uh, Mel Clark. I bought this simply because his last name's Clark, so is mine. And uh, I mean, he's holding three bats in his photo. That's pretty cool. I like this set where they're in the uh, color TV. 1955 Bowman, uh, Marv Blaylock. I think this might be his rookie. Yeah, 54th. Last year that was the Miners, Syracuse Chiefs. So yeah, this is his uh, rookie card. It's pretty cool. And then this is my oldest Phillies card. It's a, a 1954 Granny Hamner. Uh, pretty good shape. Color's really good. So that's nice. And then, to wrap it up, uh, my main PC is Robin Roberts. So I have a lot of his stuff more than anyone else. I have a 1961 Robin Roberts in pretty good shape. I just picked this up, came in the mail today. It's a PSA 6 1960 Robin Roberts. Love this card. Got it a steal. No one else... Uh, had bid on it, so I got it for the uh, the minimum. A horribly off-centered 1959 Robin Roberts. I'm actually looking to replace this, so uh, if you have one want to trade for something, holler. If not, I'm hitting a card show tomorrow. Maybe I'll stumble across one. A 1957 Robin Roberts. Uh, like this card. Nice photo of him. A really clean 1950 
six tops Robin Roberts. I almost want to get this one graded. Let me know if you think I should. I mean, the corners are good. The color's great. The centering's nice. It's got a little bit of surface damage. This isn't a stain on the card. It's on the case. That's where the price tag was. It's a little yellowed. That's not on the actual card. So I might send this one in because this is in really good shape for a 56. Then we have the oldest Roberts I have is a 1955 Bowman. And what's cool about this is I actually have the printing plate from 2004 Bowman Heritage um, of this card, which is neat. And uh, it's the... Yellow printing plate, so he looks quite demonic coming out of there, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, that's my vintage Phillies PC. Let me know what you thought, and I hope you all have a, a good day, night, evening, whatever time it is where you are. See ya.